Hello everyone. We're going to be going through some questions and answers regarding the use of the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion. And we're also today going to announce the start time of our course of the Song of the Spheres. And then finally, we're going to introduce a technique that we'll be doing each Sunday, at least for the time being. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our questions. The first question was, should one introduce the desire within the heart at the same time as one spins the way, or is it okay to introduce the desire within the heart just before actually spinning the way? There was some confusion that we had uh, given Lantos's instructions. Do you introduce the seed phrase and then spin the way? So if we do seed number one, source of light, do we think source of light, introduce it within the heart, and then spin the way? Or do we do those two steps at the exact same time? We spin the way and introduce the seed phrase within the heart at the same time, source of light. So the question was, which one is correct or are both correct? Lanta said, yes, we take the phrase, we initiate the phrase. We hold this phrase within the warmth of the heart. Then we spin the way. With this performance, we let go the way. We let go the phrase. We let go. We initiate, then we let go. Just as the way continues to spin, the phrase may linger within the heart, within the mind. Just as the spinning motion may cease, the lingering phrase may cease. The phrase is released. Like the way of the song, the finger releases the way. The way proceeds without effort. The heart releases the seed. This is creating. Initial rotations are generated. This is the process of the initial rotations of creating. I create. Yes. I create. So, <clears throat> the instruction, if we do source of light, our first seed, then we focus, we have the song in our hand, or we have the medallion along with the first raised wheel in our left hand. We focus on the heart. We focus on the warmth within the heart. We introduce the seed phrase, silently within the heart, source of light. And then we spin the way, and when we spin the way, we stop focusing that intent, that seed phrase within the heart. So if you are focusing within the heart, source of light, and you continue to focus on that seed phrase, source of light, and then you spin the way, that's when you stop focusing, intently focusing on the seed phrase, source of light, and then just let it go and continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. As Lanto said, the phrase may linger. You don't have to banish it from your heart. You just stop intently introducing it within the warmth within the heart. It is no longer your intent to focus on that seed phrase within the warmth within the heart, introducing it within the warmth within the heart. Instead, you simply focus on the warmth within the heart itself. And you will notice the seed phrase may disappear on its own. Then it will come back. You reintroduce the seed phrase within the warmth within the heart. Focus on the seed phrase within the warmth within the heart and then spin the way. Release the seed phrase. Stop focusing on the seed phrase within the warmth within the heart. Then when the seed phrase comes back, source of light, reintroduce it within the warmth within the heart, focus that source of light, and then spin the way, release the seed phrase, continue to focus on the warmth within the heart, but no longer actively introducing the seed phrase within the warmth within the heart. You will let it go on its own. 
This is the instruction we have now for using the Song of the Spheres and the Medallion. The second question. When one enlivens one's I am seeds with the song, is it important to then wear the song or keep it close throughout the day? Or is it still beneficial to leave the song at home in one's creating area? So we ask this question because the song and the medallion are precious and they're delicate. And so we didn't want someone to feel obligated to carry it with them if it were going to endanger the song or the medallion, if keeping it in your purse meant that it was going to break, if keeping it in your pocket meant that it was going to break, uh, that you shouldn't feel obligated to do that. You could just leave it at home in your creating area if you really wanted to, if that is how you felt safest and most comfortable. So then, here was his answer. One may wear the song. One may place the song in a location of interest. The song contains the essence of the totality of the spheres of creation. The presence of the song enlivens the totality of the great spheres. To have this near is a great blessing indeed. It is very good. Okay, so let's read that answer again and go through it just so that you understand. One may wear the song. One may place the song in a location of interest. So you can wear it if you want, or you can leave it alongside your flying seed. You can leave it in your creating area. You can leave it in a drawer that you know it's safe in. You can do whatever you want, whether it's leaving it at home or bringing it with you, wearing it, putting it in a pocket where it's going to be safe, putting it in a pocket of your purse where it's going to be safe, just making sure that it's safe. Either one is fine, and then he explained that the two options aren't actually equal in benefit. Because of the influence that the song carries with it, the presence of the song, he said, to have this near is a great blessing indeed. So the preference is to be able to bring it with you, but you should do that only if you have a way to bring it with you safely, to wear it or to have it in a pocket where it will be safe. Now we are going to be coming out with carrying cases for the song and the medallion. It may be a little while before we have this available for you. Uh, and the, the idea is to have that case so that you can put it in a pocket put it in your purse, carry it with you, have it in a briefcase, anything like that, and you'll be confident that it's not going to break while you're carrying it with you throughout the day. So we will, we will have that for you sometime in the next several weeks. But for right now, if you can wear it or carry it with you safely, you can go ahead and do that. If you're worried that it might break, then just leave it at home in a safe place and wait until we have a method for you to be able to carry it safely. The third question, how does one use the song for someone else's benefit, such as enlivening the inception seed for someone else? Lanto said, it is best to initiate for oneself. Initiation is an art of performance that bestows blessings and grace. If one is unable to initiate spin oneself, if one is unable to initiate the seed oneself, then one may have another perform this sublime action. It will be good to be in the presence of the one for whom the spin is initiated. Yes, this performance brings great blessings. The spin of the way of the song is a great blessing for one's life. It brings waves of purity for all of creation. So what does this mean? If you have someone who is unable to spin the way on their own, unable to enliven the seeds, their I am seeds on their own, uh, perhaps they are unconscious in a hospital, perhaps they are uh, severely disabled, it could be uh, a very young child even, uh, an infant even. 
if there is a reason that someone is unable to hold the song or the medallion in the left hand and spin the way with the right hand, then there is a way for you to be able to do this. If you have to be the one holding it and spinning the way entirely on your own, you need to be in close proximity to the individual for whom you are doing this. Otherwise, if you can, and of course the second method you'll by definition be in close proximity, you'll help the person hold it. So what you do is you take the person's left hand and if you can have them take their thumb and forefinger or middle finger and hold the song, you can with your left hand hold their fingers together embracing the song to make it safe. Or if it's easy for them to cup it in their hand and you can, put, you can steady their hand so that it is safe, one way or the other, get them to hold the song in the left hand and you can hold their hand holding the song. And then you will be able to spin the way for the individual. So for many of you, this is not going to be a concern, but for some of you trying to figure out how you can bestow these great benefits and blessings on someone who is unable to do it for themselves, this is how you will do it. The next question, how quickly does the way need to spin? Is it okay to spin it slowly or quickly? Lata said, the speed is of no concern. The significance lies in the performance. Initial rotations may proceed slowly or they may proceed with great speed. One initiates spin. That is all. One releases the seed just as one releases the way of the song. The spin continues along its way. The seed continues along its way. The motion may be rapid. The motion may be slow. The important aspect is the release. Then it goes along its way. That is all. This is the process. This is the performance of the art of creating. Through initial rotations, creating is achieved. These are the initial rotations of creating. We say, I create. So the spinning doesn't have to be very fast. It can be slow, it can be comfortable, it can be moderate. Whatever you're comfortable with, you simply do the spinning of the way and then releasing it. You introduce the desire, you introduce the seed phrase, you spin the way, you release both the desire, the seed phrase, as well as the way. Now you'll notice that a few times now in these answers, Lantos today has said the words, I create. This appears to be a new phrase that Lantos has introduced. I create. I anticipate we're going to be hearing that phrase quite a bit more, so we are going to focus on it. He said, we say, I create. Another question, is it okay to spend the way more than three times for the same seed or desire? If so, should the spins be grouped into sets of three spins with a short pause between each set. And Lanta said, yes, we thrice spin. Very good. Well, Cindy didn't know if that was a yes to we can do it or we should just do it three times. And if we do it more than three times, do we group them into groups of three? So she asked him again, can we repeat the thrice spin of a seed? Lanta said, Yes, this may be repeated. Yes. If one desires, the process may be repeated for some time. So our seed one, source of light. We could introduce the seed phrase within the heart, source of light, spin, release the seed phrase, continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. 
Introduce it again. Source of light, spin. Release the seed phrase, focus on the warmth within the heart. It comes back. We introduce the seed phrase again within the heart. Source of light, spin. We release the seed phrase. We continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. Perhaps we do this for just a little bit longer, another 10 or 20 seconds. Then we restart the process. Source of light, spin. Release the seed phrase. Focus on the warmth within the heart. Introduce the seed phrase again. Source of light, spin. We release the seed phrase. Continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. We introduce the seed phrase a third time within the warmth within the heart. Source of light, we spin. We release the seed phrase. Continue to focus on the warmth within the heart. And sometime later, 10, 20 seconds later, we restart the process. You could do this as much as you wanted to. If there's a specific seed that you just love and want to do it time and again, you can do this. Final question. How often should one try to spin the way of the song or the medallion? Is it beneficial to do this throughout the day? So is it you just do it in the morning and in the evening when you do the IM seeds and the reflective seeds? Or can you do it all day long if you want? Can you do it whenever you want during the day? And Lantos' answer, our beloved song is the supreme tool of the ages. It is natural to wish to spin the song many times throughout the day. We say to this, enjoy. Just as one thirsts for water after a long stay in the desert, the absence of supreme nourishment has created the deep desire for the taste of the source. Let the thirst be satisfied, and the life will flourish. So that means you can spin it as many times as you want throughout the course of the day. You can spin it every minute. That would be difficult to do other things as well, but you can spin it as often as you want. There's no limit on it, and it provides great blessings for your life. Okay, so those are our questions and answers for today. Now, the upcoming course, the course of the Song of the Source, will begin on Sunday, February 24th. Sunday, February 24th. We don't yet have an exact time. I will get that information to you uh, within the next week or so so that you can plan that. And it won't have to be done live. You can watch the recorded version as well if you would like. But we are going to start it on that day. Lantos told Cindy that that is the day of grace. The day of grace, Sunday, February 24th. So that is when we start the course. This is an 81-part course. We anticipate that we will do these twice a week, Sundays and Wednesdays, meaning that it will take 41 weeks to be able to complete this process, taking us right up to the holy season later on this year, in the final weeks of this year. So we'll be, we'll be doing that on February 24th. Now, I also mentioned that we're going to start a technique for Sundays because those classes, the 81-part classes, as far as we know right now, Cindy was explaining to me just moments before I started this lecture, that we anticipate these segments to be quite short, perhaps just five minutes in length, a short bit of knowledge, a short bit of instruction two times each week for you to be able to practice. But then on Sundays, what we're going to do is we're going to do a practice which we will call the I Create, Return to the Source. We are going to, using the song or the medallion with the wheels, we will enliven all 81 seeds returning back to the source, which means that we will start with the 81st seed and go backwards to the first seed. We start with flying seed, therefore intent, which is seed 81, and we will go back all the way to source of light, seed number one. Now, with the song and with the medallion, this process is quite rapid. You can do it in less than 40 minutes. 
Uh, it takes less than 30 seconds to enliven each of these seeds three times. So let's take our example of the 81st seed followed by the 80th seed. So we would introduce the seed phrase within the heart. Flying seed, therefore intent, spin. As soon as it stops spinning, and we continue to focus on the warmth within the heart, but as soon as it stops spinning, we can reintroduce the seed phrase. Flying seed, therefore intent, we spin. Continued focus on the heart, then flying seed, therefore intent, and spin. We can do this in just 20 seconds or so. It's it is quite rapid compared to our other techniques of enlivening the seed phrase. Then we move to the next seed, process through motion. Spin the seed, we spin the way, we continue to focus on the heart while releasing the seed phrase. Once it stops, we can introduce the seed phrase again, process through motion. Spin, release the seed phrase, focus on the warmth within the heart. Once the way stops, we can introduce the seed phrase again, process through motion, and spin the way again a third time. Once that's done, we will move to the next one, outcome by means of intent. Introduce that within the heart, spin the way, focus on the warmth within the heart, letting go the seed phrase. Once the way stops, we do it again. Outcome by means of intent. So this is something that you don't have to do it that quickly. You can take all the time. If you would like to be have this be a one or two hour event on a Sunday, you can certainly do that. There is no need to rush, but I know that you're busy. You have other things that you need to do during the day. This, this technique is going to provide you with great blessings throughout the week, but equally important, it is going to provide great blessings for the entire world, with all of us enlivening, enlivening all 81 seeds, returning to the source, and because the world mother, seed number eight, exists in the way for each one of us, that means that we will be enlivening the world mother, seed number eight, each time we enliven each of these seeds. So 81 times for each of us enlivening the world mother every Sunday. This is going to provide great blessings to the earth and bring great light to the earth. So this is something that we're going to be doing each Sunday. Plan to do this either before or right after our lecture each Sunday. We'll be doing the short instruction for the course of the song, and then you will be able to do this. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'll speak with you later this week or next week. Have a wonderful week.